When I say cancer, what first comes to your mind? We all know it's a disease. I knew that it often shows up in tumors of our body from cells that somehow grow incontrollably. I was also aware of chemotherapy where the drugs are used to treat cancer. I knew chemotherapy is grueling and has a bunch of negative side effects. Cancer kills thousands of people each year. It is a serious disease with serious consequences. It wasn't until recently that I finally asked myself, what exactly is cancer? So I took the liberty to Google this question where I came across this definition by the National Cancer Institute. A term for diseases in which abnormal cells divide without control and invade nearby tissues. And with that little sentence, I learned two things that totally changed my whole perspective of cancer. Cancer refers to several diseases. I mean, I always thought cancer was like one thing. In the media, it is often referred to as such. Cancer always sounded like this one giant monster disease spreading across the world in a deadly pandemic. It's not. Cancer is actually a broad term for the whole bunch of diseases. There are dozens of different types of cancer that show up in different parts of the body to make things even more complicated. Every type of cancer works differently. They are, they are caused by various factors and have different molecular mechanisms. How are all these cancers related? Cancerous cells are abnormal cells that divide without control. To understand why cancer cells are abnormal, we need to understand what normal cells are like. Cells divide through a process known as mitosis, where they replicate their DNA and divide it into two. Normal cells don't divide infinitely, though. Normal body cells stop dividing after a certain number of generations, usually around 50 or 60 times, where the cell commit apoptosis, cell suicide. This whole process is called senescence. Normal cells are also able to regulate how often they divide. Cells send signals to each other as they duplicate. They will slow down if it gets too crowded and speed up if more cells are needed. Cancer cells do not do this. Do this. Cancer cells do not obey senescence. They are immortal. They completely ignore signals urging them to commit suicide, allowing them to keep it growing. No matter how crowded it gets, cancer cells will keep dividing over and over again. If they have enough nutrients, they keep dividing forever. This is what causes dangerous tumors. So why haven't we found a cure yet? We always hear all this talk about finding the cure for cancer. But the problem is that cancer cannot be solved with a single treatment because they are all so different and work in complex ways. For example, the most common form of cancer, basal cell carcinoma (BCC), is usually caused by sunlight. Ultraviolet rays from the sun cause random genetic mutations in the cell, mutations that often lead to melanin growth, which is why people who tan are more likely to develop skin cancer. At the moment, we have things like chemotherapy, radiation therapy and surgery as the standards for cancer treatment. However, these treatments are very generalized. Chemo and radiation, in particular, are designed to kill any rapidly dividing cell in the body. Well, this includes cancer cells. This also includes hair cells, blood cells and stomach cells, which is why we get side effects like hair loss, suppressed immune system and nausea. And because we are simply killing the cells by brute force and not at attacking them at the root of the cause, the cancer cells will often come back to grow again. A true cure would have to be tailored to a specific type of cancer. This means that each cancer would need its own specialized research on uncovering the cause and mechanism of the disease. Even if we do that, treatment can still be tricky. Each patient responds differently to cancer therapy. Each case is different. Sometimes a single tumor can contain multiple types of cancer. There is no magic bullet that can cure cancer. Even so, we are learning more about cancer every day. As we learn more about how all these cancers work, we can also learn how to fight it. New cancer drugs and therapy are constantly being tested and released to the public. And cancer awareness is spreading. It's spread to you just by watching this video. So I hope that with this video, you are a little bit close to understanding what exactly cancer is.